they're ready for you. Oh, thank you. Norman Russell did me. Today's the day, is it, Norman? Today's the day. Your certificate. with the reports. Do you want to take a look or are you happy to move on? Yeah, move on. <laughs> 32 Hoodman's Road, Wood Chase Heath. The Floyd. No mistakes. The mainland has an eye on us. 32 Hoodman's Road, Woodchase Heath. Age 14, long brown hair, blue eyes. Get to it, people. For what we are about to receive, may the law make us truly grateful, and we're thinking of Grandpa, and may he always remain in our hearts. Amen. You're not listening to me! Well, it was only a suggestion. He spends more bloody time at the hospital than he is at home already! Just take some time to think! There is no time, Cathy. There's nothing anyone can do to help him. Oh. Hey. Maybe... Just his time. Man overboard, the <laughs> bosun cried, before another crash of seawater engulfed us. <laughs> All was lost. Captain Merigold in her quarters wrested words from her quill. The parchment <laughs> fighting her every stroke. <laughs> Save our souls, she wrote, before snapping up the note and funneling it into an old whiskey <laughs> bottle. Getting her feet flat. She stepped onto the deck. Valleys of water stood like titans around the ship. With the last effort, Merigold cast the bottle into the ocean. Hope was all they had left. Her vision went black, and all she could taste was salt. You decide how it ends. Don't give up, Lucy Lou. Promise me. Well, yes. Yes, I, I suppose the book is all a bit of a mystery. Well, I truly believe it's the journey the character takes. It's all about what happens in the middle that encourages you to reach the end. It's all about the adventure the reader goes on whilst escaping everyday reality. All I can say to all those budding young writers out there is to write with the end in mind. Okay, can I get a vision set or no set? Catchers? Set. Chauffeur? Set. Mainland? Mainland is set. Portals? Set. Backup? All set. Chester, this is facility station one. We're all set.
excuse me. Where, where are you taking me? Good morning, Lucy. Welcome. I'm Chester. I trust you had a safe journey. We're very happy to have you here. There are just a few house rules. We issue just the one visitor pass per deceased. So you won't be coming back. Where am I? <laughs> I know. It's not Valhalla. Hotel and uh, casino were on an island off the coast. Now, you can't take anything back with you, and closing time is 5 p.m., do you understand? Without further ado, your grandfather is waiting. He may be dead in the land of the living, but here he's very much alive. Lucilla? Addy, soldier. Ah, Miss Digby, the writer. What a pleasure it is to meet you. I've heard so much about you. I must get your autograph so that I can show it to the old folks here. <laughs> when you're famous. William was a soldier like your uncle. 32 years in the service, seven medals received, and one World War fought. <laughs> and it all fell apart when I fell down the bleeding <laughs> stairs. Hey, Norman, 
I fixed my old sleeping problem. I took this from the officer. Inhale it and it'll knock you out. Just like that. Oh. Ah, no worries, miss. We're keeping a close eye on Reagan. Well, what's wrong with him? My suspicion is he's a spy. <laughs> Excuse us, Sergeant. I'm going to show Lucy the gardens. Yes, sir. So how are things going? Huh. You know. I'm I'm sorry, Grandpa. Oh. It's okay. What is it? Why am I here? I should think it's obvious. I haven't finished the story, Grandpa. It's only good when you read it. You've got your mum and dad? You know, when your dad was growing up. What he loved more than anything else in the world was to paint. I bet they never told you that. This is my favorite of his. He was 18. You could tell them the story now that you're back. They'd listen to you. I'm not back. I'll stay here with you. You can't sleep here and you can't dream. You've so much to do. I'm not leaving without you. Lucy! Right, with the end in mind. Your grandfather's been telling everyone about the story you're writing. It's not finished yet. <laughs> yeah. My wife always said I should take up writing, but the trouble is, I can never think of what to write. You take it. Have you had your visitor yet? I think you should go now. Why? Leave me alone. But I was only trying to... Hey! Lucy! Where's your grandfather? I don't know. Do you need some cake? I want to go home now. Stop making fun of me. No, I wasn't. What's wrong with Regan? There was an accident. But I guess he was lucky to spend a few days in a coma before coming here. Let him live. Miracles are a lot of paperwork. I've got the paper. Everything's already written. We'll rewrite it. Perhaps you should focus more on your own writing. You still need an ending. Where did you go? Let's do it. Let's get out of here. Are you sure? Of course. <laughs> Thank you. What's the plan then, Lucy Lou?
What? Grandpa, come on, we've got to go. There's no place like home. Mission accomplished. Grandpa? Grandpa, where are you, Grandpa? Grandpa, no, I need you, Grandpa! Please come back! Grandpa! Grandpa, no, I need you! Grandpa! Grandpa, please! No, I need you! Grandpa! What is it? I saw Grandpa. He was in a mansion with butlers and maids. See, this is what our arguments do to her. Silly ideas in her head. Lucy, Grandpa passed away. We talked about this. You're not going to see him again. A mansion with butlers and maids? Sounds like another one of your stories. It really did happen. I didn't know you'd been writing again. Is this the ending to one of your books? I'll have a read of it later today. Why did you give up on your dream of becoming a painter? Captain Merigold and her quarters wrested words from her quill. Alice of what? <laughs> stood like titans around the ship. Her vision went black. And all she could face was salt. You decide I know. Don't give up. Captain Merigold opens her eyes in the height of the storm. Without distress or fear, she holds still. Unlike her fellow pirates, she reminisced in pleasure of all the dreams she followed in her lifetime. When it's our time to go, the first thing we feel isn't hatred or fear. It's regret for all the things we didn't do. Stop waiting on the universe. Never stop dreaming. Mm -hmm.